Hey, what is going on everybody? It is Rob with Diligent Dev and today we're going to be building a Kanban board using Vue.js and Vue Draggable. Now Vue Draggable is one of the easiest ways to implement drag and drop in your web application. So let's take a look at exactly what we're going to be building. So you'll see we have a form up here. We can enter a new task. You can either hit enter or the add button and then you can drag each individual task into the status bucket that you would like. So without any further ado, let's get right into it. The first thing we need to do is set up our view project. So I've opened up a terminal, I've seeded into my desktop directory, and I'm going to run the following command. npx view create view can ban board. I'm going to hit enter, and then I'm just going to choose the default. And this is going to take a second to run, and as soon as it's done, I'll be right back. So our view project has finished set up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to CD into the root directory of my project and I'll just take this right here and paste it down there. And then I'm going to install a couple packages that we'll be using. So we'll install, install npm i view draggable and bootstrap view and hit enter. And these packages are going to take a second to install. So once they're done, I will see you then. So now that we have our project all set up and our dependencies installed, I've opened the project in Visual Studio Code. Now you can use whatever editor you'd like, but for this tutorial, I'll be using VS Code. Now the first thing we're going to want to do is open up our main.js file in our SRC directory, and we're going to set up Bootstrap View. So if we go over to their documentation, you'll see to get started, we've already run the npm install. It's saying that we need to register this in the entry point, which is our main.js file. So we'll go ahead and copy that out and we will import it right here. And then we're going to import the styles at the top and those imports are right underneath the documentation to get started here. So we're gonna import those up top and we'll save this file and now we have bootstrap view installed in our project. Now the next thing we're going to do is go to our app.view file and inside of this div tag I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of all this. I'm going to get rid of this hello world component. Uh, delete the hello world component from there and then I am going to remove all of the styles and we're all set up to code. So the first one we're going to do is import draggable at the top of our script tag. So we'll say import draggable from view draggable. And then inside of our components, we'll go ahead and set that up so we can use it inside of our template. Now down here, underneath components, we're going to make a data property. And we're going to return some variables out of it. So the first thing we'll do is say new task and we'll use this to keep track of the new task that we're going to be putting inside of our form. And then we're going to say ARR for array backlog. And we're going to put a couple of items in here so that when we launch the screen, we have some items to look at. So we'll just put a name property on there and we'll just say code sign a page put a comma after this and I'm gonna go ahead and copy and paste this a couple times and we should probably put some spaces in here put another one in it says test dashboard and yet again another one style registration and one more Say help with designs. All right. Now we need a couple of other arrays that we're going to be using to keep track of our other buckets. So we had backlog in progress, tested and done. So we'll call this one ARR in progress. And we'll set that to an empty array. ARR tested. Set that to an empty array and ARR done. And also set that to an empty array. So now that we've got all of our buckets, a, a variable to keep track of our new task, um, let's go ahead and make a method down here 
And this method will be to add a new task. So we'll just call it add and we'll say if this dot new task. So we'll check to see that no one has passed in a blank string from the new text. We'll say this dot AR backlog push set name and we'll set that equal to we'll actually we have to wrap this in curly braces because these are properties or this is an object that we're pushing in. Say name this dot new task. And then after that, we'll just set new task to a blank string to clear out the text box. And that's all that we're going to need inside of the script tag. So up at the top, let's go ahead and code out our basic Kanban board. So in this, we're going to just get rid of this ID. I'm just going to give this a class of container and we'll give it a margin top of five. Then we're gonna go ahead and create a row. So I'll say div with a class of row. And then I'll say div, and we'll give this a class of column and form inline. And then we're gonna say b, b form, input and we're going to give this a v model of new task we're going to give it a placeholder that says enter task and we're going to allow the submission on the press of an enter key. So to do that, we'll say at key up, and we gotta go back and say enter. We'll say add. And we'll go ahead and we will close this. And to go ahead and see kind of what it's gonna be looking like on the page, I'm gonna open up a new terminal, and I'm gonna say npm run serve, not server serve. So what this is going to do is launch a development server and allow us to view our changes as we're making them. And it seems as though there is an error. Oh, it's saying view has already been declared. Since I just copy and paste it, I guess I wasn't paying attention. And it's saying view was already there. And I like to keep my imports at the top. So I'm going to get rid of this and add this back up here. And then I'm going to turn auto save off. And we're getting an error saying draggable component has been registered, but not used. So let's go ahead and make our first bucket then. So underneath this row div here, we're going to create another div with a class of row. And it seems as though my autosave did not turn off. And we're good to go now. We're going to say div. We'll give it a column md three and we'll give it another div and we'll give this a class of padding two alerts alerts secondary now these alert classes are not specifically made to be used with the kanban board they're just really convenient and make the kanban board look a lot better so i'm going to go ahead hit tab on that we're going to give this an h3 and call it backlog and then we're going to go ahead and set up our first draggable component so we'll say draggable go ahead and close this off but we're going to pass in some properties so we'll give it a class of list group and we're going to pass it another property of list we'll set that equal to arr backlog and we'll set a group property equal to tasks 
Now inside of this drag rule, we'll create a div. We'll set a class on this div to list group item. Now we're going to set up a v4. We'll say for elements in ARR backlog, we'll give it a key of element dot name. And then inside of this div, we'll do some string interpolation and we'll just say elements dot name. And I'm gonna go ahead and save this. And you'll see now all of our errors have disappeared and I'm gonna go ahead and open up what it looks like on the screen. So now you'll see that we have our task form all set up. There's one thing we forgot there, which was the add button. And now we have a backlog and we can drag things, but we don't have anywhere else to drop them to, although we can rearrange the order that they show up in. So to go ahead and fix a couple things here, the first thing we're gonna do is say B button, and we're going to give it a variance of primary, and at click, so when people click it, we'll just fire the add function. Now one thing we're gonna to do to make this look a little bit better, we're gonna give this a class of, let's just say, margin left two, and down here on this row, we're gonna do a margin top of three. I'm gonna go ahead and save that. And I forgot to add the text for the button. So now if I show you the screen, we have a little bit of space in between here. We have a nice button with a little bit of space and we can say new task and hit enter and it shows up and we can say new task two. And if we hit the button, it also shows up. Now we're not persisting any of these changes. Um, this is not a tutorial designed with a database. Um, so when we refresh the screen, these changes or these new tasks will disappear. So I'm gonna go ahead and push this off to the side and we are going to keep coding. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna have a bunch of columns in here. So I'm gonna grab this column right here and I'm gonna copy it, and then I'm just gonna paste it in three times. So if we go up to this top one, we are going to set an alert of primary on this one. Um, we are gonna take this ARR backlog and change it to ARR in progress. We're gonna take that and go ahead and copy it here as well. Now on this div, let's give it a different color. So we'll just say warning. And we will, instead of ARR backlog, we're gonna pass it ARR tested. And we'll do the same thing here. And then for this div, we're going to give alert success. We'll give it the ARR done and we'll go ahead and also pass that here. And so we'll go ahead and save all of the changes. I think I'm gonna go ahead and grab our screen and we'll see now we have the different colors, but I have not changed the text that is showing up for the different statuses. So we'll go back. We have our backlog here. This one is in progress. This one is tested and this one is done. So I'm gonna go ahead and save that. And if we come back here, we'll see now we have our statuses updated and we can go ahead and drag this into different buckets here. Now, although we can drag these into different buckets now, you'll see there's a little bit of a bug here where it's staying put, but it looks like it's going back to the original bucket. And the reason this is happening is because the drop zone or the bucket that we're dropping into is not large enough um, and it thinks that it's dropped into an invalid bucket zone. So what we're gonna do is at the bottom here inside of our style tag, we're gonna create a class called Kanban column and we're gonna say min height equals 300 pixels. Now I'm gonna 
grab this style here and copy it. And we're going to go up here and inside each draggable class or each draggable component, we're going to go ahead and after list group, we're just going to give it a Kanban column class. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and save this and refresh. And now you'll see that each one of our Kanban columns has a nice height to it. And if we start dragging stuff, you'll see that there's no bug where it looks like it's going back to the original bucket, but it's actually staying put in there. So this is going to wrap it up. I'll put a link to a Bitbucket repo uh, below this video. And if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, go ahead and drop those below the video. And until next time, happy coding.